Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the most flavorful chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma has tender chicken thighs and it's bursting with flavor. Pair it with some pita bread and some delicious yogurt sauce and you guys are going to love this recipe. So let's get started. In a bowl here, I have about one and three quarters pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I slice in half. You can use chicken breast, but I find that thighs come out super tender in this recipe. Now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of turmeric, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper, juice of one lemon, and a fourth cup of olive oil. Using my best utensils, which are my hands, I'm gonna mix everything until it's well combined. Also, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe so that you can support me to continue to share simple and delicious recipes with you guys. Chicken shawarma is my favorite to order at a Mediterranean restaurant, and I often get it catered when I throw parties, just because everyone loves it and it's such a crowd pleaser. Once the chicken is well coated with the marinade, I'm gonna cover and refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight. Now it's time to get the yogurt sauce going. In a bowl here, I have one cup of Greek yogurt. And to that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice and one finely minced garlic clove. And I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. And that's about it. Pretty easy, right? My son can honestly eat this for days with some pita bread. It's so refreshing and flavorful. And if you don't have Greek yogurt, you could also substitute it with some sour cream. Also, don't forget to watch until the end to see both of my kids' reactions to the taste test. I love to serve this chicken shawarma wrapped in some pita bread, along with some sliced cucumbers and tomatoes. Some green lettuce or some red onions also go really well, and you could also serve this over some basmati rice. Also, if you watched my previous video, you know that I've been suffering from a painful stiff neck, and my hubby felt sorry for me, so he ordered me some pillows from coophomegoods.com, and honestly, these pillows are a miracle. Even the first night using them, my neck felt so much better. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys if you want to check them out. And no, I am not sponsored by them. I just really love their pillows. So back to the recipe. I have my outdoor grill here heated to medium high heat and I'm gonna cook the chicken until cooked through. This will take about six minutes per side. You can also cook this in a pan over the stove if you prefer. Six minutes has passed and our chicken is looking good. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip them over and let them finish cooking. I've made this chicken quite a few times now and I've received many compliments. It's so flavorful, especially combined with the yogurt sauce. And as always for you guys, I have the full written recipe in the description below. And it's time to serve this up. Look how gorgeous this looks and it's definitely restaurant quality. Normally, I cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces, but today I'm just gonna go ahead and add it onto my pita bread. And I'm gonna tuck in a few slices of some tomatoes and cucumbers. This is what I love about Mediterranean food. It's all about fresh flavors. And of course, gotta have some of this delicious, refreshing yogurt sauce. Some extra spoonfuls for me, please. And there you have it, guys. I hope you give this recipe a try. Cheers! Mmm. Mm. So flavorful. So flavorful. Mmm. 
How is it? You love it? Yeah! <laughs> Thumbs up? Oh. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I make cooking videos weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.